Each one of these women runs a small business with no access to health care, despite the risks they take with their bodies. This woman is a sex worker. She goes by the name Maxine Holloway. And believe it or not, this isn't a bachelor party. Oh, here we are. Okay, I got it. The burlesque act is the entertainment at a grassroots Obamacare registration event called the Healthy Hose Party. The people signing up here are sex workers and their supporters. For them, this truly feels like something to celebrate. Like, I really honestly do think that access to health care should be a human right. And I've been so brainwashed to think that it's such a privilege. For me, as an in-person escort, um, my health is slightly more at risk than someone who does not have a lot of contact with other humans in the course of their job. They printed out paper applications just to make sure the crashing site didn't stop them. Many haven't been covered in years and are particularly high risk. We wanted to see how much a sex worker in the Bay Area, now that's where these women are, how much they would end up paying for Obamacare. So we asked them, how much do they make? They say between $30,000 and $40,000 a year. Under this new act, we have some hope. We used an insurance calculator. Now we selected the state average income of the women in this area that they told us. Under the Affordable Care Act, they'll be paying about $3,500 a year. That translates to about $300 a month. That's before any subsidies. I'd say like three times a year I would try to explore my options and really come up empty-handed. When my mama's old, she'll live like a queen. If Susie and her partner wanted private health care before Obamacare, plans to cover them were between four and $500 a month. Now they'll pay $200 a month or less. It's so exciting to see that number with a one in front of it. They'll also get a subsidy. Big changes are coming to health insurance in 2014. Monthly premiums may not be cheaper for everyone, including sex workers. Individuals may end up paying more if their old plans don't meet the coverage standards of the Affordable Care Act. But people who qualify for a subsidy, like Susie, will pay less compared to their old plans because the government will front some of the bill. Not every taxpayer is going to like the idea of their tax dollars subsidizing the cost of health care for sex workers. As a society, we're paying for it anyways. We're just paying for it at the end instead of the beginning. Um, and we're paying for it in a way where people still get sick and they still die. Regardless of the politics, nothing stopping their party. Lori Siegel, CNN Money, New York.